Supply chain troubles continue to create a car crunch across the country. Prices are rising as supply can't keep up with demand. Which is why WJN's Ben Bradley took note when we found hundreds of new cars sidelined in the suburbs. The Chicagoland Speedway is a parking lot these days. Take a look at the infield, row after row of cars, hundreds of them, not broken down, they're brand new, fresh from Ford's assembly plant in Chicago. Seems odd given the nationwide car shortage. This is our lot. Typically the lot doesn't look like this. This lot is usually full. So what's happening here? The answer is so small, you can't see it from the air. The cars lack semiconductor chips. It's not that they won't operate, but certain components like rear seat heating and air conditioning controls and other add-ons are inoperable without the chips. I've seen lots full of cars waiting for the chips. We've also had plants idle. From coast to coast. Normally, every, every line you can see all the way down to the end would be full of vehicles. Auto dealers are clamoring for cars. Now, demand is so high, Ford has decided to begin selling these cars with essentially an IOU, promising to install the non-critical components down the road once the overseas producers can catch up. In the meantime... It's unprecedented uh, would be the way that, uh, to describe it. Prices are going through the roof. In the last year, new car prices are up 12%. And there's such a shortage, used car prices are up even more, 41%. This guy hit the Jeep jackpot in Florida. I just traded in my Jeep Gladiator. I just got the same amount of money I paid for that truck seven months ago after I put 10,000 miles on the truck than I paid for it at the dealership. They just gave me the same amount on a trade-in. A Ford spokesperson says all of these parked cars we showed you in Joliet will undergo a comprehensive quality inspection before they're shipped. The fact they're willing to sell cars minus a few components and customers are willing to buy them that way tells you just how tight the car market is. Ben Bradley, WGN News.